In this demo, we're going to install the portable application suite onto a USB drive. The first step is to go to the website at portableapps.com and in their splashy front page we just click on download now and since we have a nice spacious USB drive we'll install the standard edition now to save time I've already downloaded this so we'll just click cancel and we can close the browser because we're done with it so we just go ahead and um, oh before I start let's start a timer here because this can be somewhat time consuming and um, we'd like to keep track of what's going on so we'll double click here and the only manual step really is to find that USB drive so we'll just go ahead and do that and now we'll start the timer and proceed hello again as you see we've been installing for 15 minutes and it's not yet finished uh, your USB drive may be faster but I strongly recommend you go out and grab some coffee while this install is proceeding and I'll see you once again when mine is finished Okay, we're past 18 minutes and 95%, and it looks like we have one more bar to go, and I hope we're almost done here. Okay, and the installation is done. It took 18 and a half minutes. Uh, you may have better luck. This is a rather old thumb drive and yours may be a little snappier. So that's all there is to installation. If your system has auto start enabled, the uh, application interface may come up as soon as you plug in the USB drive. However, in this case it hasn't, so we'll start it up manually. Let's look at my computer scroll down to the USB drive open it up and uh, start portable apps and uh, here's our interface let's uh, close this and uh, the the interface dialog box will come up whenever you click this little icon in your tray here and just as an example let's start up Firefox takes a little bit longer because we're not operating off the hard drive but there it is and when you're ready to remove your USB drive you just bring up the dialog box get our calendar out of the way here click this X to uh, close the dialog interface and that's it and I'll see you next time with uh, details on some of these applications